Good morning from the Celebrity Reflection. Today we are excited because we're going to Roatan, which we have never been to before, so it's a first stop for us. We're going on a ship excursion today. Initially, ship excursions were required because of the current circumstances, but like literally the day before we cruised, they said they weren't required anymore, but we decided to stick with it because we're excited, or at least I yeah. am. We're going to see sloths, that's the big one for me, monkeys, iguanas, butterflies, macaws, all kinds of wildlife that's native to Roatan. Um, and if you know us, you know we love zoos and you know seeing animals. So seeing them at these animal sanctuaries and their native land will be really, really cool for us. Um, first though, I think we're gonna start with a little breakfast this morning and our excursion is super early. We have to leave the ship at seven. So we're up really, really early, but look at this. I just have to share it. It is so beautiful. I mean, what a gorgeous sight this morning. On our way to breakfast, um, if you're curious, the ship is not at full capacity. We think it's less than half and you can really tell. Um, we rarely pass someone in the halls. Um, <laughs> there's, there's plenty of people in the common areas, but it's definitely a different feel. Um, I actually like it. <laughs> I actually like it a lot. There's really no waiting for anything. Um, anything you want to do is open. It's kind of nice. And we've got breakfast. I've gone with a quasi-English breakfast. I got coddled egg, roasted tomato, mushrooms, potatoes, and uh, also some bacon. And Brian got similar mushrooms, potatoes, veggies, and scrambled eggs. And here's our location as usual. So pretty. And you can see Roatan over on this side and a gorgeous sunrise on this side. And here we are sailing along past Roatan. Here comes a plane, just went really quick to our cruise ship coming in for a landing. I'm now at the bow of the ship and we are turning pretty sharply to uh, dock here in Roatan. It looks like, from what I can see, it looks like their port is somewhat under construction. That seems to be a theme for this trip. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're gonna spend that much time at the port anyway. Quick view from our balcony before we go for our excursion. I don't know if it'll show up really good on, you can see the coral is so beautiful. This water is gorgeous. This country looks gorgeous. I'm really excited to be here. This was not on our original itinerary. It was put in later, but wow, this is beautiful. And we're off the ship and onto our excursion. They had us meet in the theater again, just like we did for Belize. There's our gorgeous ship. And then we are literally backed up back to back to the allure of the seas from Royal Caribbean, which if you're not familiar, Royal and Celebrity are sister companies, or I've heard Royal's the parent company, but in any case, they are under the same umbrella. Here we are where we get on the van for the tour. There's our tour van. It's quite cool. Your guide and the driver name is Ron, Ronald, okay? So this is the downtown that we're uh, driving through. We have a bank um, supermarket to your right hand side. And then the left is the First Baptist Church. The predominant religion in Honduras is Catholic. But here on the island is uh, Methodist. gotten off and we're sitting here to wait to go see the monkeys and the sloths and I misspoke earlier today she said the monkeys and sloths are not native um, they were actually imported to Rotan from Honduras from the mainland so I did not know that just be careful to your right ma'am the monkey will reach by and try to pull your hair <laughs> yeah they do that sometimes uh, but yeah, these guys actually belong to the same family as raccoons, which means they have the same tendencies, which is, you know, getting into people's trash and just making an absolute mess. Alright, so here is the general area where you get to hold the sloths and see the monkeys and other animals. And it's right here on the water, it's beautiful. There's Carmen holding the sloth. <laughs> He's got his little, little grubby. 
I like to look at monkeys, but I don't want a monkey on me. It's just personal preference. So we are opting not to go in the monkeys, but just to let you know if you do this tour or this excursion, you will have the opportunity to go inside and have monkeys climb on you. This is really funny. Our tour guide is putting food on top of everyone's heads so that the monkeys will jump on their heads. We are now in a cage with some birds. Okay. Ready for making a picture? Yes. Yeah. At Arches Iguana Reserve, we're gonna check out some iguanas and some fish. From right here, oh maybe iguana hatch every September once a year, but not all of them survive because we have spider tail, birds, birds. <laughs> containers. They have some really cool art on them too. We have now stopped at a butterfly garden. It's very beautiful here. Really pretty. Oh kitty! And he's off. Bonus monkey at the uh, butterfly place. package on the ship we just prefer to get back on the ship for drinks but it's definitely a fun port lots going on it's funny it looked like most of it was under construction when we came in this morning but obviously it's woken up while we were doing our tour wow i see some really big watermelon drinks in here this is funny when you see the welcome to the port sign as you are leaving the port there's that world caribbean allure of the seas again that is massive and then there's our reflection right over there. Now the back of our boat is getting a power wash. That looks kind of precarious. <laughs> Funny from a distance, our ship looks small compared to the allure of the seas, but then when you get up close, it no longer looks small anymore. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything new. Come to the buffet for lunch, and I got a stuffed pepper, some veggies, some fish, and there's a fly that I'm trying to get rid of, and steak. And Brian got the Caribbean food that they have today. So I see samosas, not sure what that is, some fish and some plantains. It's really good. There's the close up view of the back of the Allure of the Seas. Someone was just on the Flow Rider right up there a minute ago. Here's a sunnier view of Rotan, a little brighter than this morning. I mean, it was sunny this morning, it just wasn't quite as bright. Very cool. Had a good time today. We're gonna give a little review of our thoughts of the excursion. Just like usual, we have come up to the Sunset Bar. Such a great spot on the ship. 
we thought we'd give you a really quick review of our opinion, our opinion only of the Discover Roatan excursion that we did. Um, my, my opinion is the sloth experience was amazing because I love sloths, so that was amazing. Um, all of that was really cool. The iguanas and fish were okay. The butterflies, we have better butterfly pavilions at home. Yeah, it wasn't many butterflies. Mm -mm. Actually, I think for me, the best part was just driving around seeing the city. Yes, that's what I was going to say, or just seeing the countryside. I mean, all of that was so fascinating. And she did give us history and would point out buildings and that kind of thing while we were driving. And I actually found that some of the best part of the tour. And then the shopping, to me, I hate to say it, but to me, that was a waste of time because they stopped there for like 25 minutes. And it's the same kind of stuff you'd find at the port, which we had to go through the port anyway. Yeah. So. I would say if, if you're brave enough to do it on your own, but we didn't think we would be able to do that. They were restricting it to ship excursions only to literally the day before we boarded the ship. So we decided just to stick with it. If you could do it on your own, I would sign up. If you want to see sloths, just go see the sloths. Or yeah. if you want to do a tour of the country, just do a tour of the country. I wouldn't do that whole, I, I don't think that for me, the value was there. I would do it piecemeal. If you know us, you know normally under normal circumstances we like to do our own thing. Yeah. Like so, so that's probably part of it too. We're we're those kind of people. Captain is about to speak in honor of Veterans Day. Today is Veterans Day in the United States, and if you have served, I'd like to thank you for your service. We appreciate it very much. And continue to serve today, so we can sleep peacefully at night. God bless you all, and bless our veterans. Thank you for coming here today. We have a free butterfly exhibit on our ship. Oh, he got away, good for him. Captain just blew the horn and we were now pushing off and you can feel the ship. Ooh, that's loud. So he said because we're so close, to the Allure from the Royal, Car Royal Caribbean. He said, we only have a few meters clearance. We're doing a hard to port. So this should be an interesting push off. We were just talking about how big the Allure of the Seas is. I mean, obviously it's a mega ship, but it's just, we're on the top deck. Well, I guess the Solstice deck technically is taller, but we're on the top public deck of the celebrity reflection and you can see how much higher the allure of the seas goes but this sharp turn that they're doing does feel quite strange people enjoying the putt putt so it's interesting we've noticed this area several times over here by the studio which is the fine art photography there's these cool little tables and we thought they were like a cafe or a restaurant no they're just little tables to hang out in and you've even got this sort of glass that'll block the wind, depending on which way the wind's coming. Today I would like to have wind. Ooh, there goes a the plane. Whoa. As you might have guessed, the Rotan Airport is very close by. There it goes in for landing. But in any case, this is like a hidden gem, this little area to sit in if you want to get away because I've never seen anyone using it. It seems to just be an unused area. I think people are probably like us and they think that it's uh, part of the, you know, a cafe or something. It's pretty cool. We're at Cafe Albacchio. Albacchio? Let us know in the comments which way to say it. And they've got so many yummy treats here. And of course they have coffee drinks as well. These treats are included though. I think the coffee drinks depends on your drink package, but they're not included, but these treats are included. And as we've had every day, we have another gift. I'll open it up and show you what's inside. Actually, I don't even have to open it up. It's three donuts and this is kind of sad. This, I wish they would actually ask us, you know, what we could have so they don't waste stuff. Brian doesn't like donuts. I know it's strange, but he doesn't. And I am gluten free, so I can't eat dirt nuts. So that's sad, it's gonna go to waste, but so nice that they're doing this. And in keeping with our tradition, here is our magnet from Roatan, Honduras. We ended up with the sloth, even though we did find out from our tour guide that the sloths are not native to Roatan, they're native to Honduras. And we also like the fact that this had their currency as well. We thought this was really cool. A 
I know you probably can't see because of the glare, but we are booking. The captain told us we would have to put the pedal to the metal. That was his exact words to get back home. So we're going straight from Roatan all the way back to Florida with no stops in between. Tomorrow's a sea day, so apparently it's a haul and they've got a book to get us back on time. So we are in the main dining room. I've got my gluten-free bread and tonight's dips are a lemon herb, a hummus, hummus and butter. And Brian got his regular gluten basket. I'm gonna try the lemon. Oh, that's a stale breadstick. Oh no! Is the lemon dip good? Yeah, Dip's really good. good. We got our appetizers. I got a, an arugula and prosciutto salad. And what'd you get, Brian? I got to get around the, all the bread bowls. Scissor salad. Oop, there it is. Brian and I got exactly the same thing. Tonight is lobster night, so we got two lobster tails, rice, and broccoli. We haven't gotten a dessert all week, so we decided to get the cheese plate tonight, and it looks delicious. We had them put the crackers on the side since I can't have gluten, and this looks really tasty. Ready to dig in? I am. We just got back from this evening's show, and it was, um, I think her name was... Crystal Lockhart, but that might not be right, and I'm sorry, she was really fantastic. She's an Aretha Franklin tribute singer, amazing voice, amazing performance. And of course we came back to the room and we have a present. Have to open it to see what it is. Right, it looks like this is a unique type keepsake to commemorate this first sailing after the shutdown. It's basically thanking us for cruising, and this picture is all of their employees on the ship and then it basically lists our specific crews with their specific itinerary which this is actually interesting because our itinerary changed two weeks before we left because the original ports three of the four ports were closed so this is pretty incredible because it's the date of the cruise and all of the dates of the ports and they're all correct and then you've got the captain and the hotel director so that's pretty neat and i mean this is like a high quality like it's it's hard to show on film but you know it's not paper it's it's really really nice quality kind of like a photo album is the type of material but that's definitely a nice keepsake if you've enjoyed this video be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new thanks so much for watching until our next adventure